Camber's uneven, bro. Have you guys ever seen some shit like this? The camber plate is sideways. Whoever goofed him and installed it, Maybe sideways. Previous owners, bro. Oh. Thank God J Boy's there to fuck up some more shit. Hopefully, I don't cut his brake line, you guys. YouTube, it's been a while. How are you guys doing? We're back. Today, my boy Thomas is actually coming through. He has an FG4, which is basically the FB6, but in the coupe. So I'm gonna help him out. We're gonna get him like some front camber and shit. We're gonna see what we can do today. But I just wanted to make a little video on this because it's so simple and it's actually so cheap, you guys. So I just like wanted to like show you guys like how we can do it for like actually under 30 bucks. $30, which is super cool to me. Free camber, you can't really beat that. But, yeah, he's on his way over. He's going to be here shortly. I miss you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Like, we're on the road to 5K. Little steps, we're doing this, you guys. I miss you guys. We're back on the grind. I have something big coming, and I honestly can't wait. Piece of shit truck. But yo, you guys, dream car is on its way. So until then, just hang out with me and we're gonna be vibing. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah. This thing's clean. How you doing? Yeah, brother. So I was telling the tube today we're gonna throw some like little front camera on this thing. Straight. Should be straight. YouTube, so this is how it works. Basically, we're gonna take out these two top bolts right here. I just took one out right here. And then we're gonna switch to this new hardware, which is super skinny. Look at the fucking difference on this. So, initially, when we end up putting this in, so already you see this plate you already have right here. You see this? So basically, if I loosened up the bottom bolt, you would probably get like a degree or two because there's that play already with the smaller hardware. So once we get the drill in there and start pushing it back, we're basically going to shave this inner wall inside and, and we'll get, be able to push the hub right in. But we're going to show you guys. Let's do some more. So I look, bro. I pop off the dust cap. Camera's uneven, bro. Have you guys ever seen some shit like this? The camber plate is sideways. Never trust Whoever me. goofed him and installed it, Never sideways. Previous owners, bro. Fuck. That boy did it wrong. Thank God J Boy's there to fuck up some more shit. Oh God. Just kidding. Oh shit, Thomas works on his own car? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Like Go ahead and screw out the other two while you're there, you know what I mean? Like Barta. Like Barta. Nice, I like that. I like that. And we're basically just going to drop it a little bit down there and we're going to turn it the right way and re tighten it. <laughs> this shit. You guys, how are you even supposed to get camera out here? We're about to camera that caster back into the door well. Going this way when it's supposed to be going this way. <laughs> This is the actual right way it should be now, compared to the way it was before. So now we're back on this. Now we're gonna slot this, shave this. Let's do it. So basically you wanna push the drill all the way to the back wall over there. 
Oh, and just keep yeah, and just keep on, yeah. Okay. So basically, when we put the bolt in, the bolt's gonna be positioned way further back. So this is gonna end up looking like a rectangle instead of a circle. Oh, I back. Got you. Right. you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So keep on drilling back. I'm gonna get some WD-40. We're gonna wet it, wet that thing up. <laughs> but basically guys that's all it is we're gonna run smaller hardware Hello studious. Look at this studious ass fool. Damn, this fool studious. So guys, right now we're shaking the rear knuckle, the rear knuckle, the little knuckle right here. So when we shave this flat, we can shave this flatter in the back. So when we're pushing it back, it has more tilt for more free camber. <laughs> That's not what you wanted. <laughs> We're not doing that. You can't drive that. Mommy's way. Nah. No YouTube, so this is what I was basically telling Thomas. We needed bigger washers unless when we go to tighten something, he's gonna try to go right through it. So we're about to make a parts shop run, but we really wanna test fit a wheel, see what's going on with. <laughs> my dog came in with zero front camber 20 30 minutes in we cooking something so he has 18 by nine and a half plus 22 gram lights 57 drs beautiful wheel but so when we cambered it and we try to put the wheel back on basically the wheel is hitting the, the strut back in there like I told him. So basically now we tried on a 15 mil spacer and it's freaking mint. The only thing next you would really need is to run a 215.40 or a 215.35 up front and shit would be so mint. But other than that, you guys, I think we're gonna do a parts run. We need to get some more washers. God, Lee. That shit looks good, you guys. So YouTube, if I didn't explain it enough, we're, we're gonna do the other side. I was trying to figure out and really get to like a certain number that he wanted. He really wanted five to six degrees. But as you add camber on these Civics in the front, as soon as we as soon as we actually did add camber, the wheel is hitting the strut. So we're trying to figure out what's what situation we're gonna do. Yo, know, some are 12 by 125, so watch out. Don't force them on. But right now, sold him a 15 mil spacer. One has three studs. He's gonna work it out, three and a half. But right now, he's going through my box of nuts. Ayo, hey, pause. All the nuts, pause. <laughs> We're going through my box of nuts, trying to find him some open ends so he could run the stock with the spacer because the stock is hitting this uh, acorn lug nut. He could run those in the front, but the 225 is too big. Who knows? He might drive away with these on the front and the stocks in the rear. But I'll just give you guys a quick synops. But this is super easy front camber. You see we did this, we actually went to a parts run. We got some more washers and everything. Just shaved the back, slotted the coil a little bit. 
$30 camber or less, bro? Come on. Dude, I just love the shapes of these FG4s. Should've got a coupe. Right, guys, we're still on this side and we're just trying to figure out how we're gonna do this. We don't have enough lugs. We do have enough lugs, but the lugs we have protrude out through the side of the spacer meaning the wheel won't mount flush so now we're gonna add a slip on over those bolts and it should work but like we don't have enough lugs still so like it's weird we're gonna make it happen we're gonna do it fuck we're it gonna make it happen wait gotta go out somewhere. you about to shoot i'll show you guys in a minute you guys big red is not trying to go up what do i do this doesn't look too sturdy. Gosh darn. Yep. So you guys were back. We did a Harbor Freight run. Big red, not working. So we swapped it for little red. Little red don't even got enough dick for us, you guys, bro. Ha! Gay! But basically, so here we are. We're gonna shave the back of this again. We already did that side. I just wanted to give you guys an idea. I'm using just a angle grinder. Then we're gonna use this to slot a little. But yeah, hopefully I don't cut his brake line, you guys. You see guys, we're just basically shaving this back end. So when it goes into this, it has space to freaking move back, equaling camber. I'm gonna shave it a little bit more, then we're gonna slot in the hole, and we should be good. But basically, guys, that's pretty as simple as that. Hopefully this is enough for him. I told him he might need extended lowers after this. Just to get that extra mm. But this should be enough, you guys. Solid. I'm glad I get to show you guys this. This is so simple. That thing looking wide. So you guys, I, I did that. Tightened everything back up. It's really as simple as that. Right now, apparently to the iPhone, it's saying negative seven. I'm gonna show you guys that, but we're gonna see how that's going. We're about to put on this sketchy ass spacer that only has three lugs coming out of it. Bro has to go to work in an hour, so that's a 40 minute drive. We're gonna see how that goes for him. Let's hope I make it. You guys, let's pray he makes it, because if he doesn't make it, you know where he's gonna be. Jay boy bro, I don't know what happened, but I think I'm gonna slide on you. <laughs> like, uh, I'm, I'm on the way, bro. But that's about it, you guys. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. I wish he had all four of these on, because that's Ooh. just good. That's good right there. But, yeah, the 225s are too thick for that. We're probably going to put the stocks back on with two spacers, because camber now. It should be sitting around negative 7 to negative 9. We'll see how it's looking on the floor. We did the front camber. It's a little bit uneven. Bro's late for work and he's not showing me a smiley face. Like I'm not mad. I'm just like I wish it was like I wish I already had the tires on. Uh, on the wheels, I would have been able to just like. Isn't er isn't everything a process? God, this shit looks good, dude. Every time I'm looking at this, it makes me wish I got a coupe and I would have went crazy on the coupe. Yeah. But then like I was thinking about like yo, I do not want to pop my back seat. I mean, you don't have the problem. Nah. Oh shit. You guys, we did the front camera and it's the white gram lights. Gram lights, you guys, great wheel, great wheel. I miss my pink one so bad. It looks like we're sitting on negative five on this side.
then it looks like we're at negative seven on this side. But hey, it's gonna do. Looks so good. Hell yeah. But I'm gonna do the amber delete on the heads. Yeah, I'm telling you, the 215.40s on the grams, you'd be good. Now Let's I gotta go. see how I'm gonna get through the speed pumps. Let's be as well. To get out of here. Nigga, you keep on going straight to that road and don't come out this way. Oh, I didn't know that. YouTube, that was about it. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> so we did a little baby front camber. Thomas is gonna come back and we're gonna check it out when he gets the other tires mounted, maybe shave some more. I know a lot of people already know how to do it, but like a lot of other people don't know how to do it, so that's where we are today. But like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We're on the road to 5K, and like I'm so happy that you guys tuned in. But thank you guys. See you guys later.